This video tutorial is brought to you by tipsquirrel.com. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today in our continuing series on working together with Lightroom and Photoshop, we're going to be looking at yet another way of sharing images from Lightroom into Photoshop. Recall that you can select an image here in Lightroom's library module and edit it directly in Photoshop by pressing Ctrl or Command E or by right-clicking and choosing Edit In and then choosing Photoshop as your main editor. When you edit this way, Lightroom takes your original RAW file and bakes in the adjustments that you've made in the Develop module and passes the rendered result as a raster pixel image here into Photoshop. Notice that we have a single layer and it's called Background and it's just a regular ordinary raster layer. Now here within Photoshop we could do anything that we'd normally do in Photoshop but we've lost the ability to edit this image as a raw file. I'm going to close this image without saving it and then I'm going to go back to Lightroom. Now there's a way that we can pass this image over to Photoshop and maintain the raw data intact so that we can edit it later in Photoshop. And in order to demonstrate that, I'm going to quickly go to the Develop module and make a quick adjustment by changing this to a black and white image. I'll go back in the library module and right click this image and I'm going to choose Edit In. But instead of choosing Edit In Photoshop CC 2014, I'm going to choose Open as Smart Object in Photoshop. When I do this, Lightroom makes a copy of my raw data and passes it to Photoshop and it's encapsulated here as a smart object. If you notice the little icon in the corner of the thumbnail indicates that this is a smart object. And notice that the name of this layer takes the name from my original raw file and it's not called background. At this point I can go ahead and do any of the editing that I might want to do in Photoshop but I have the added benefit of being able to edit this smart object. And recall that the way we edit a smart object is simply by double clicking the thumbnail here in the layers panel. And what we get is actually our raw data opened up in camera raw and we have access to the full set of adjustments that we've made. So for example I could choose the HSL grayscale tab here and deselect this and we've got our color image back. I can go ahead and click OK and camera raw does its work rendering the original raw image back in color and passing it back here to Photoshop within our smart object. So in this way, we can pass our raw image over to Photoshop and maintain traceability all the way back to our raw file. This can offer us some flexibility in the workflow that we might not otherwise have. For example, I'm going to go ahead and open this smart object once again, and it opens up into Camera Raw. And what I'm going to do is to add a graduated filter to this image to darken the sky down. So I'll click here and drag this downward and here in my graduated filter panel I'll go ahead and take the exposure down a little bit more and I'll bump up the saturation. I'm looking at the sky and I'll even take the white balance and boost it a little more towards the magenta and a little more towards the yellow just to increase the color and the drama within the sky. But because this is a graduated filter I've affected everything above this dotted line. Now, I could have done that in Lightroom, but here in Photoshop CC 2014 in the latest update, I have access to a new feature in the graduated filter, which is the masking brush. So I can click here, and now I can choose to subtract or erase some of the adjusted area. So I can paint over the underside of this bridge here and remove that graduated filter adjustment just from this area while leaving it on the sky. So this is a new feature in Photoshop CC 2014, but because we pass this image over from Lightroom as a smart object, we can perform these edits here. I'm going to click OK, and once again Camera Raw does its work rendering the image and passing it back to Photoshop. Now at this point I've done what I want to do with this image I'm going to go ahead and close it and I will save it this time and we'll go back to Lightroom. Here in Lightroom we can see the new image that comes from Photoshop 
And we can see that this is a TIFF image. If I open up the metadata, you can see the name of the file here is named with the original name and edit.tiff appended. The original raw file is still here and it's still in grayscale. So we can see clearly that Lightroom has made a copy of the raw file and passed it to Photoshop. And that copy of the raw file is encapsulated within this TIFF image. Anytime we want access to that and we want to make additional changes, we can once again highlight this image, choose Edit In, and Edit in Photoshop, and we'll edit the original. This opens up in Photoshop, and once again we can double click on the Smart Object thumbnail to open up our adjustments in Camera Raw, and we're right back to the original raw data. So this is a very versatile workflow, and it allows you to do some things that you wouldn't be able to do in Lightroom alone. So give this a try and add this tool to your workflow between Lightroom and Photoshop. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography tips and tricks and other information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.